Let's shift our focus now. The European Union has now agreed on a deal to set binding targets for airlines to increase use of sustainable aviation fuels. This is part of an effort to kickstart a market for green fuels and cut the aviation sector's carbon footprint. The regulations consider advanced biofuels and fuels produced from feedstock as SAFs. Portions of each of these targets will come from synthetic fuels or e-fuels, which come from renewable power sources such as green hydrogen. Now, the deal says that by 2050, synthetic fuels should make up a minimum of 28%. Synthetic fuels from a key component in efforts to decarbonize the aviation industry, a notoriously complicated task that is. The EU plans to give over $2 billion in funding to airlines via its carbon market to help them switch to SAFs. Biofuels will only count towards the proposed targets if they comply with EU biomass sustainability criteria. This principle mandates for a renewables a production and a sourcing of the fuels. Now, recent controversial changes to the definition of green hydrogen proposed by the EU in February also includes hydrogen produced with nuclear power as green. This holds significance for countries like France, which derives much of its electrical power from its nuclear plants. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.